Hello, everybody, and welcome to a little bit more of a discussion video. I mean, I saw a couple of big YouTubers making videos like this, and me being a little YouTuber, I decided that I wanted to join in on talking about this. Now, um... There, there's going to be two parts of this covering different things. I'll get, o I'll, I'll talk about what's going to be in part two at the end of this video. But right now we are talking about what's going to be in part one. And part one we are going to be over because I, I didn't think that this was a major issue. I really didn't. I thought it was just you know there. But I'm going over the major problems with YouTube. And it's it's not the horrible monetization system. It's it's not the fact that you can't call anybody at YouTube because there's no phone number. It's 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 the videos. And what I mean by that is we are going to be going over people very insensitive people who who could care less what happens to other people or the feelings of other people. Now, I know that sounds childish and stupid, but it's a serious matter. Now, d prank channels are like, okay, it's it's whatever, you know? There will always be prank channels, and of course, I love some pranks on YouTube. Everybody likes the pranks on YouTube, but most of them go way too far, and I will show you exactly what I mean by that. And some of them are just so insensitive and, like, really, really stupid. I'm, I am not discrediting any of these people. All these YouTubers all these YouTubers are way more popular than me. So I, I'm not discrediting any of them. If you want to go and subscribe to all of them at the end of the video, go ahead and do that. I'll have a link to all of their channels in the description whether or not I like them. And this is just all my opinion, by the way. I'm sorry if I've offended you. So, I'm going to go on to my first little topic here. And that's Rice Man. This guy right here, he he does the intro, like the really stereotypical Asian intro. And you're like, this Asian guy does not have that bad of an accent. It's, it's like a really bad Asian accent. And it's not his actual voice. But this right here is a clip from his school shooting gone wrong prank I, I wonder why I, I wonder why people don't find it funny when you walk up to them on the school campus and tell them you're going to shoot him what he did with this prank was he went up to people anybody at school this was at a school he would go up to people and he would say hey can I shoot you and he would wait for a reaction now People have died, children have died, very young, young children have died in school shootings. And, you know, you think of, like, you know, horrible, horrible people. It's like, who's the first person who comes to your head? Hitler, Bin Laden, people like that, you know. And then other people think, you know, I've lost family, I've lost my son, my daughter, into a school shooting. And that's what they think. They think the school shooters as the worst person possible. So for this guy to just go up to random people, he doesn't know how sensitive they are to it. He doesn't know if they've lost or what they feel about it. And e even if they haven't, even if they're just a normal person, like I never been in or lost anybody, thank God, in a school shooting. But, um, you know, th that's that's a really insensitive topic. I would find it in disgusting taste if somebody came up to me and it's somebody I didn't know and was like, hey, I'm going to shoot this school, and blah, 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 and that's what Rice Man does, and, of course, uh, he gets a gun pulled on him, and, you know, he's, oh, that guy pulled out a gun on me on sc school property, he threatened to shoot me, it, well, that's what you just did to, like, 12 other people before that happened, he does not, like, have a concept of morality, like, he knew that this was going to get views, so he goes, uh, the the prank gone wrong in the hood gone sexual shooting kids at school prank, you know it's it's like really really rice man, that's not a good prank and of course you know he got a bunch of hate and nobody really knows rice man he's not that big of a YouTuber I mean he's a much bigger YouTuber than I will ever be but he's not that known you know not not that known in the whole YouTube community. Now, of course, you knew he was going to come up in this video coming up next. Oh, uh, look at it. It's that one English guy who was, like, really popular. And then everybody forgot who he was. 
and then he, he sexually harassed a girl, and now he's famous again. That's kind of like Bill Cosby in a way, <laughs> but um, that's not funny. Anyways, he, oh, Sam, Sam Pepper. I mean, I could really say anything I want about him, but I'm not going to. Uh, th there isn't a single person who likes Sam Pepper out there. I mean, let's be real. Uh, he's... He, he's taken his pranks very far, and they're, they're not pranks. He's gone up to women and sexually harassed them, and, oh, it's just a prank. It's just a prank. Uh, I don't care what you... I don't care if you don't want me to sexually harass you. I don't care if it's a possibility. I don't care if there's a slight chance that you're a rapist victim. I'm going to sexually harass you, and that's his mindset, and it is not a good mindset. That's That's horrible N not once did it ever go through his head that you know maybe this woman was raped before maybe she you know maybe there was like a traumatizing experience in her life some sort of sexual abuse in her life and he's coming up here treating it like a joke now of course i i have no doubt in my mind that his pranks are fake and he hires actors in case they backfire as bad as they did. So he's going to go up there with his horrible, horrible haircut. And, all right, everybody, okay, um, I just wanted to say that it was all a prank. And uh, I'm glad to see how YouTube responded. I mean, uh, shut up, Sam Pepper. Like, you did not mean for this to all happen you the only reason you hire actors is in case if it backfires in your face like it did it, you can't go and say this was just all a big social experiment i was testing how the internet would react to it because if they reacted positively to it you wouldn't dare come out and say it was fake so you know he is uh, he he deserves his own video just to be yelled at here he uh is is like the epitome of youtube like and that's not a good thing you know it's horrible and he's uh i just don't like him all right that's so i'm just gonna say it i don't like him personally i knew i was gonna say that i wouldn't call out people like that but i don't like him oh he makes me mad and uh, he had that thing on Kickstarter where he was like, hey, if we reach something million dollars, I think it was like two million, tw it could have even been 20 million, which is a big step up from two million, but it had a two in it. And it was something million dollars. And he was like, hey, if we reach that goal, I'll take down my YouTube channel. And so why? Why are we going to give you two million channels to stop producing videos like like why no he, he said because he thinks that that's what his youtube channel can amount to he says he he thinks he can make two million dollars off of youtube so that's what he wants to you know that's why he said it so high he can't make two million dollars off of youtube he he was not pewdiepie he he started in what 2007 2008 he was one of the early guys and like everybody loved him and then he just completely faded into obscurity. Like, nobody knew who this guy was anymore until he started doing immorally wrong things. And that's that's bad. So coming up next is a clip from a video. This channel right here, Pranks to Vicator Crazy TV. Russian guy pranks in the hood is what I searched up for this one. Because he, he's a Russian guy. And right here, gone wrong in the hood. Oh, I, I don't know if I can say that right now, but um, yeah, look at this right here. Asking black people where is an offensive term. So, you know, you can imagine that that would go bad. So let's just watch a little bit of this video here, okay? I'm going to do what the prank channels do. I'm going to do what the reaction channels do and just sit back and steal some content right quick. And uh, let, let's, let's listen to him talk about going and pranking people in the hood. So he's going up to the black people in the hood because cause they are portrayed as people who will get mad. And I wonder why. If you fight for freedom, and if your ancestors fight for freedom, something like freedom, as big as freedom, and you finally win that, but there are still people... Like, look at his face. If there are still people disrespecting you like this guy, 
constantly harassing you, loads of people watching it and liking it on the internet, wouldn't you get mad? And I think he even says closer to the end here when he's talking at the end, he only got three good reactions or something like that. But there's a YouTuber, I think it might have even been the same guy, who who he, he, at the end of his video, he's like, okay, I went to the hood, I only got like three good reactions, because black people on the internet are portrayed as, like, angry, and, you know, like, oh, I'll definitely get a reaction out of him or her, but, you know, there have been countless amounts of social experiments, not pranks, but actual social experiments that have shown that about three out of 200 are get angry. And if you go up to white people, I'm sure about 3 out of 200 would get angry, you know, maybe even more. So it, it's it's very, very stupid to think, you know, uh, you know, if, if, if you were to put, um, yeah, right here, asking white people, where is the crackers in suburbia, gone sexual, well, good, the gone sexual part would probably get the views, gone, well, gone right, this would have no views, so... You know, it, it's it's stupid to think that that's what people, like, associate funniness with. Like, oh, a black guy's getting pranked? This is going to be hilarious. You know, hmm, why? It, it's not going to be hilarious. It's incredibly racist, you know? it's And it, it, it's just wrong, you know? Like, to... That, that's, like, you know, social profiling. That's racial profiling. Social profiling. That's racial profiling. And, you know, we, everybody's done it now from, like, looking at these videos right here. You know, 7,000, 7, I'm sorry, 7 million people. Go, oh, yeah, that's funny. You know, it's it's not. It really isn't. They're just going about their day, and this guy comes up, and where is the the n word you know oh my god this stupid stupid guy now all right i've i've kind of had my say for you know um um pranks you you understand my displeasement with pranks and now uh we're going to talk about reaction channels which are a much bigger problem than prank channels so starting off right here, we have uh, this this guy. I, I don't really know who he is, but he has a big name on YouTube. I mean, I've never really heard of him. But, um, yeah, I guess he's not that popular. Anyways, so th this video right here, I just picked this one out right here because it, it caught my interest. Uh, marriage equality, same-sex marriages, hashtag love wins. So, you know, that that's a good motto, you know, and he has an entire really, really good video with really, really good points on why we shouldn't care about same-sex marriage and why it should have just been accepted in society from the start. And that is a great moral. Of course, same-sex marriages should have been accepted straight from the start. But he says something about, you know, I, I was actually watching this video because I was interested in this video. But I noticed something around the one minute mark that I'm going to, you know, get a little mad at here because he kind of, he's a hypocrite. He says something, he, he says, well, let me just show you what he says. You're not God. You don't have the right to judge anybody. Uh, I'm sorry, Jinx. Uh, I thought that you, uh, your your claim to fame seems to be your reaction videos, like this one down here, that one right there. So, if you're not God and you don't have the right to, you don't have. Well, what did he say? You don't have the right to. Let me see. What did he say? You don't have the right to judge anybody. But yet, that's why people know him. Because he steals, and then he judges the people that he steals from. So if he's saying you don't have the right to judge anybody, then how come he judges people? That's what he does. That's what his job is. So uh, it, it just, you know, we, we don't like Jinx as... A community most people don't uh, I I liked his videos at first um, 
until I realized, you know, it got to the point where he wasn't even talking in his videos. Like, his brother, CJ, there, actually muted his mic audio and sat through an entire KSI video. You, you know, the KSI YouTuber? He sat through that guy's entire video with his mic muted. So it was just like he replaced the face cam. And, you know, he stole that entire video, you know? And that's that's annoying, you know? And they, they claim that this is promotion, right? You know, if this is promotion, how come these guys aren't reacting to videos like my videos? or Or videos like you know other channels that are like mine you know what i mean like the 500 subscribers you know like 20 likes per video a couple hundred views per video something small you know that would be great promotion but they choose to promote people like pewdiepie you know reacting to pewdiepie's videos reacting to epic rap battles reacting to kids react which is a good react channel because they actually provide reactions you know why why would they go and say we're providing you know you know we're, we're providing free advertisement space you know but they're they're not because they're stealing the videos which means all the views that they would have gotten on those videos they no they no longer have because you stole them now, all right, well, whether or not you like Jinx, it's up to you. I mean, he seems like a really nice, decent person in real life, but he this, he's a thief, and there's no doubting it, and he, he's a bad one at that. So going on to the next clip I have here is from a YouTuber by the name of Blasphemous HD, and Blasphemous HD was one of the first YouTubers I started watching. And I know that might come surprising, but he was, the, well, no, he was the first reaction channel I started watching. I don't know why I forgot the reaction part of that. But Smosh, you know, the popular Smosh, you know, with Ian and Anthony, you know, they were really popular back in the day. Still are really popular, still really funny. And... They they did uh, shout out videos where they would shout out smaller channels which they found funny, and this guy got a shout out by them. I don't think not once did he ever thank them or make a thank you to Smosh video, cause he would be a nobody if they hadn't done that. I mean that's how I figured out about him, and his gaming channel and his life stories are hilarious oh my god they're so funny and now he goes and he makes a reaction channel of course because you know that's the next step that you take when you want to make money and um now why am i singling him out when i could have just singled out any other youtube you know stealer like i just did with jinx you know so the reason i'm singling blasphemous out here is because at least with people like jinx they say oh you know if you want to go watch the video, go watch it in the description below. Like, let's go to this video right here. This Vine's reaction right here. Original link to the video right there if you want to go and view that video. I'm just giving that a dislike. If you want to go and view that video right there. Now, Blasphemous doesn't put the link in his description. If you want to watch this video, you watch it on his channel. He doesn't put the link in his description. If you think it's just a coincidence that on December 13th, he forgot to copy and paste his videos in here. Here we go, right here. This is a, this is a pretty big YouTuber's video. I forgot his name. Fousey? FouseyTube? Pretty sure that's him who makes this. All right, let's go to this one right here. Oh, well... Looks like I accidentally clicked the wrong one, but you see right here a fine comp. Where's the link? Now this is August sixth. Where's the link? You see what I'm getting at here? You know it's. Oh, oh! He took one of the only slightly valid reasons that Jinx could come up with for why he steals the whole promotion and he got rid of that so it's at this point what is he going to say he's going to let the big guys like jinx take care of the haters for him and i well they're more like people who just want their content back and stupid stupid people like him are just going to steal and 
you know, not give any credit to the people who made the video. And he, he brags about this sometimes. He, you know, oh, you know, because usually I forget to put the link in the description. <laughs> you know, and that's not a funny thing. You know, that's that's a, a, admitting to stealing. Who he makes me mad. Next up here, we have this guy. And the only Atkins or whatever his name is, the reaction channel, I, I just wanted to say something about him quick. He's a liar and a thief. Uh, he does his reaction channels, but he did an entire video discrediting Jinx where he calls YouTube and has them look him up in the system and whatnot, and they find all the shady stuff. Uh, that's impossible. YouTube doesn't have a phone number you can call. And if they do, I would love you for you to provide it for me in the comments. But they don't have a public phone number for you to call. So that video is fake, and he is a liar as well as a thief. So this right here is um, Jinx's response to Great Under A, who is an amazing YouTuber. And Great Under A had some choice words for this guy and made an entire video about why his videos are... Well, you see it right there in the up next. But um, let's let's go ahead here and take a little uh, a, a little peek at what he has to say. Well, not not the guy who made this video. All right. The people just trying to get their videos that they rightfully made back. You know, all this stuff like that. This guy does not need your free promotion. Free promotion? All the people that hate me are going to watch that and then go subscribe to him because he hates me too. Whatever, though. But uh, I'm not going to even tell them what the video is. I'm not going to tell them. Oh, yeah. Really clever, man. Like, we can't figure it out. It's right here in the up next. <laughs> well, if you think that's true, let's go to Grade Under A's latest video he's made. December 27th, 2015. Right here, let's see, right here. Uh, 26,000 uh, likes, 409,000 views. Now let's go to Jinx's latest reaction video. December 31st. So you might think that uh, Great Under A had a bit of a head start here, but that's only a four day head start. And if this guy's as popular as he says, he doesn't need that. Oh, look at 3,000 likes, 80,000 likes. Yeah, he's really hating on you because you're so much more popular than him. Never mind your fake subscriber account that you built up here using, you know, illegal follower websites. You're just so much more popular than him. Wow. Let's see. Let's even look at the comments. 985 comments. A whopping 3,000 comments. You're so much more popular, Jinx. Well, you get the re you you get the point here why reaction channels and why prank channels are stupid. But uh, if you like them, go check them out in the description below. Uh, all of them are much better YouTubers than me, even though you know they do some pretty bad stuff. Go check them out. Now, join me next episode. I don't know when it's coming out, but join me next episode when we cover pedophiles and jerks. And you might be thinking, Happy Devon Six. I thought you loved Syndicate. Oh, well, not anymore. And watch my next video to figure out why I'm calling him a jerk. And we already know that he's a pedophile. Bye.